Hi everybody, I'm here. I'm um I'm working on my Maxwell bag. I'm getting very, very close to the end. I'm working on the inside now. The outside is done. Oh, let me grab it so you can see it. Uh, my outside is done. Here's my outside. So I'm starting to work on the inside. Hi, Alicia. Hi, Lindsay. Lindsay made it. Lindsay just left here. Um, Boone was not cooperating with us today at all. So consequently, um, she went home and she's going to be there, here from there. Hi, Cindy. How are you today? Alicia, hi, Sammy D. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Becky. Oh, you can't hear me. I'm sorry. Um, somebody let me know if this is better. I'm, hi, Melissa. Hi, Angela. I'm working at um, getting my seams out a little bit better, my corners, and then I got to go press it. So, hang on a sec. Oh, Lindsay just said that um, Derek pulled in at the same time as she did, so he's managing the kiddos. Derek went golfing this morning. It was a nice day this morning, but now it's getting really gray and overcast. Hi, Lori. How are you today? <laughs> We're doing good today. Hi, Mary. Hi, Alicia. Yeah, I. he just needs to sleep, honestly. He really does. Hi, Ruth. So I'm working on this. I'm going to quickly top stitch this just so that I know where I've left off and I'm not halfway between it. And then, um, then, we, can, then we can talk, I think. I'm going to show you what I did manage to accomplish this week. Not a ton of stuff, obviously, with me in a way. I didn't get to do a lot, but I did get some stuff done. So I was really glad about that. And the wedding was absolutely wonderful yesterday. Just a few sprinkles here and there, so it wasn't bad. Hi, BJ. And, oh. Yeah, Dad does have it under control for Boone. He can, he can handle both of them just fine. So I'm doing that. Um, I only got two more seams to go, and then I can actually concentrate on you guys versus the machine. Sorry to do this to you. I don't like doing that, but I don't want to get lost as to where I'm at. So I'm going to keep sewing for a second. Lindsay, did somebody let me know if the volume was better or not? Because the volume wasn't the greatest in the beginning. I want to know that it's back up where it needs to be and people can hear. And now that I've done one set, oh, now my needle came on thread it. Ugh. All right, we're going to leave this right here now. Now that I've gotten it to this stage, we'll leave it. Well, maybe we won't. It's one quick sew. I want to sew, show you guys, so that's why I'm trying to get it done. But this is going to be the inside pocket of the Maxwell bag. And one of the things that I chose to do different than what the um, designer did is I'm putting a contrasting fabric on the inside because... I think it's easier to see where the pockets are when it's like that. And um, I believe she tells us to stitch just uh, right straight down on the inside of the bag. I think in the center of it. 
when we when we go to stitch it and I'm not gonna do that I'm going to actually make it so that at least one of these pockets hold my iPhone because here's my iPhone and I want one of the pack whoops sorry I want one of the pockets to be able to hold my iPhone so that is something that I'm gonna do differently um here's the inside of my beetle bag Let me grab it or I'm sorry my Maxwell bag here's the inside this way I gotta go and this is what my pocket will look like in there so I think it'll be nice and easy to be able to see it. I'm really excited about it. Um, I The outside is completely done. The outside pockets are all done. And it's, it's all ready. My feet, see my nice little purse feet? Those are all in and they were easy to do. So Carrie has a birthday. Hi Carrie. Oh, Carrie's busy for a birthday weekend. And Alicia's oldest son's birthday is today. And he's 10. Happy birthday. Yeah, I'm really excited about this bag, guys. I just think it is absolutely adorable. And I should be able to have it done in the next day or two, which makes me very, very happy. So there's the bag. I actually took my mother's bag. Remember I showed you my mom's bag? I'm going to set this down next to me over here. This is my mom's bag. And I took my mom's with me to um, the Adirondacks. Loved it. Carried um, my wallet and a whole bunch of stuff. And it was perfect. So, hi from Montana. All right. Lindsay, did I miss anything? Carrie's got family there for... For the weekend. Hi, Dee Dee. Happy birthday. Dee Dee's birthday is tomorrow, guys. Happy birthday, Carrie and Alicia. Um, Pat Anderson, I have fabric kits for the Maxwell bag and I have Notion kits. I have a pretty big shipment going out of going out on them on um Let's see, I believe it's Monday the 1st. If Monday's the 1st, what day's August 1st? Because that's the day I'm going to be sending them out. August 1st is Tuesday. So Tuesday, August 1st, the entire shipment will go out on them. And we have, uh, we have quite a few of them going. So if you want to get in on the first shipment of them, please go ahead and get your order placed, okay? Um, how we make the handles. I haven't done the handles yet, Sheila, so I can't tell you, but I will be doing them here pretty soon. A couple different people asked for um, pricing for shipment of the kits overseas. As soon as I have all of the notions together for the kit so I can weigh them and know the postage, I will at that point in time absolutely get you the postage price. Um, Jen, J I'm sorry, Jill asked if we have to order both the fabric and the Notions kit. No, you can do them separately. The Notions kit includes the pattern and all of the Notions to make it. And then the Notion, and then there's a fabric kit separate, which includes all the fabric to make it. So there's two different kits. I split it up this time thinking that, um... It would make it easier. And the third thing I did was I did put just the pattern on the website. So if you want just the pattern, you can get that. If you want just the notions kit with the pattern, you can get that. And then if you want just the fabric kit, you can also get that. Yeah. Sammy's got a birthday on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Dee Dee forgot to order. She says, let me add it to my list. Oh, Tressie made it. <laughs> she made it. Yay. I'm breaking up. Ooh, Linz, is there an issue? 
Becky, you just want the pattern, correct? I believe that's what you said in your email. Hi, Susie. Um, the shipping for the pattern only, I'm not sure. It's, it's not much. If you're just ordering the pattern, I think it's only a few bucks. I will double check. Um, email me and tell me tell me if you want just the pattern and check out what the um, shipping is on it and if it's sometimes my shipping doesn't calculate correctly so if it's out of sync let me know and we'll make it right um, hi Nancy oh I'm glad I'm not breaking up um, there was another question I think there was um, yeah, Susan, you can get just the pattern. I'm just not certain with um, with what the cost for shipping to you is because I believe you're overseas. Um, the fabric kit does not come with the notions. It just comes with the fabric. And then the notions kit comes with the notions and the pattern. Okay? I agree. Happy anniversary, Sammy. Uh, let's see. Somebody's going to watch later. Oh, uh, Trisha, have a great day and enjoy later, okay? Becky, for you, I believe the problem was because you're overseas. So, um, you're, I believe, if I double check, you're one of the stacks in the paperwork to um, double check postage. And I'll do that when I go to the post, post office this week. Um... All right, let's see. Uh-oh, something just went wrong for Dee Dee on this sound. Um, mine's saying that I'm pretty good here, so I'm not sure what's going on. Um, when I say the notions, Angela asked, when I say the notions, um, what am I talking about? The notion kits include the soft and stable, the Tim Tax, the rope to make your handles and there was something else the rope to make the handles the tim tax the feet oh boy okay now my brain just came to a freeze so it includes the soft and stable the tim tax the pattern and the feet to make the bag if you click on the um picture on my website that says that says the notions kit if you click on that or read on the bottom it's one or the other you'll see exactly what's in the kit because this time I did label it because you guys asked about that Lindsay nope the fabric kit is separate okay so there's the fabric kit and that includes all of the fabrics to do it then there's the notions kit which includes the pattern the Tim Tex, the soft and stable, the purse feet and the rope, and then there is just the pattern. All right. What's the standard size needle for using with hand quilting? It really depends at tr Tressie on what you like. I tend to not like quilters needles. They're really, really short. Um, in the way I rock my needle, I like something a little bit shorter. So, um, but the standard size that most people use are called betweens, okay? Hi, Suzanne. Good. Um, I like your mom's, but that is different from the pattern, right? No, the pattern actually has two options. The first option is to do it in a patchwork setting. The second option is to do it in a um, single fabric setting. And that's the things that I um, changed. I changed the one up for the single fabric one. And what I did instead was um, just like on the inside, I wanted the pocket to be contrasting. So I changed that up. And yes, Angela, thanks, Lindsay. Um, I am talking about the, the cord. It's right here. I 
I'm still getting my studio back into shape. It's Lindsay did a great job of taking care of everything. It was wonderful. But the studio needs a little rearranging now that there's two of us in here instead of one. This is the cording that we use for the inside of the bag. So it's quite it's quite large, you can see. If you look at it compared to my hand, it's quite big. So that's the cording that we use to make those big fat handles. All right. What's the next question? Well, yeah, Lindsay. Yeah, Lindsay tried. That's all right. Yeah, I, um, yeah. Lindsay, the studio was, has been a little, you know, trying to find the things that I need again. But I got to tell you, she did a great job on the giveaway drawer. That's looking much better. I can actually open it up now. So, yeah, that's what my mom's is, Angela, is the, is the patchwork. Angela said she did her first one in the patchwork. And I do really like it. I, I'm not going to say that I don't because I really and truthfully do like it. But I wanted to do something just a little bit more, um, I don't know, I just think it's a little bit more sophisticated, you know, something that, I don't know, I just think it's, I just wanted something with not as much um, pizzazz to it, I guess. I wanted something a little bit simpler. So that's why I made this one. So, and I like the patchwork one. I would like to do a patchwork one too. But right now, this is the one I'm doing. So, what are you going to do about putting the soft and stable around the outside of the cording? Do you agree with that? Yes, I do agree with that. And I'm not at that stage right yet, Angela, but I think I am going to probably do a little bit of hand stitching in order to make it stay. I haven't read the pattern yet to see what the pattern calls for, but I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking that what's going to end up happening is I'm going to end up maybe stitching it a little bit together to create a tube so that it's a little bit easier. The A bag at your left side is very beautiful. Please show it once again. This one, is this the bag? Alka, is that the bag that you wanted to see again? Or, well, I'll put them both up here and then you can just see it. Here's, here's the bag that we're working on right now, okay? And it's called the Maxwell bag. And then here is the bag that is my mother's and it's the exact same pattern. The only difference is this is done in patchwork. See, she's got the feet in the bottom too. So I'm not sure which one you wanted to see, but there's the two of them, okay? Tucker's making noise in here. He's in here with me today. So I, Alicia, I was really, really happy that Lindsay did clean out the drawer. I think she did a great job. She didn't quite give away everything, so I have a few things left, but I think she did um, the one that's got the handles. Oh, okay. This is the one you wanted to see. So this is my mom's. This is, it's the exact same pattern. This is my mom's, and it's in an older fabric that um, I can't get anymore, but this is my mom's. Yeah. yeah, I really like my mom's too. I just, you know, I wanted something different from my mother's. So this one's mine. Um, so I hope that answers the question on what I'm gonna do about the um, cording and the soft and stable around it, yeah. That's what I think I'm going to do. Hi, Kaylee. So that's that. Um, yeah, it, it, this is the stack. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. This is the stack that I'm working with. Whoops. Right now for orders. Those are, that's what we've got going right now on the Beetle, or on the Maxwell bag. 
So um, get your orders in if you want to make it so that um, so that we can I can get it all out to you and you guys can all start making it about the time that we're making it here. Okay. Yeah, I'm really happy with the bag, Trussy. I think it's just gorgeous. Excuse me. If I seem a little tired, I am. It, it has been um, a very, very busy week. It's just been unbelievable. We've gone from one thing to the next. So, let's see. Um, we were home on Monday. We left Tuesday morning. So, we went up to Fourth Lake in the Old Forge. So, we were gone Tuesday, Wednesday, and we got home um, late in the afternoon on Thursday. So that was great. And then Friday we spent most of the day getting for the um getting ready for the wedding. Then yesterday my sister got married. So we spent all day at the wedding. So it's been a really, really busy week. Big type. And I don't need to yawn. I didn't even realize I have a camera sitting here in the view. That wasn't very nice of me. Nah, Tressie, you can do it. Don't worry. You can do it. Just got to give it a shot. Whoop, I just scrolled the wrong way. Okay, where are we? Um, There we are. Did you say when the first video is going up? Angela, I didn't say exactly when. I intend to ship them on um, the 1st of August. So I would suspect that the first video will probably go up on the 4th. I figured that way everybody will be getting their kits and it will start you right off together, okay? So I would expect that on the 4th, the first video will be up. And honestly, it's going together a lot faster than I thought it would. So um, I don't know how many videos long it's going to be yet, but as soon as I do, I will let you guys know. Um, Jill... I says she's ordered the fabric for the Maxwell. Can you add the notions kit or just or do I just place another order? Um Jill, place a second order and when you place the order, just ask that it be added to the other one and I will adjust the shipping for you based on what it is, okay? I'll have to um um, I'll reimburse it or I'll do something so that you get your shipping cost back, okay? Um, oh, Alicia, oh, well, I have to go shopping. My three-year-old is so excited. Lots to buy. Lots. It is to buy drill bits. What are drill bits for? Drill bits aren't very exciting to me, except for grandparents out there. I have... Um, <laughs> I wish I I had the my niece gave me an idea you know we've all got these grandkids that keep coming over to play and three quarters of our playing things are gone I kept the school building blocks and I kept the Legos and the Duplos those I kept I did not give those up well she was telling me the other day that her father got PVC piping, we all know what PVC is, and I don't know what diameter he got, but he got PVC piping, he cut it up in all different size pieces, and then he got the elbows, he smoothed off the inside so that it wasn't all rough, and then what he did was, once he did that, he gave it to the kids, and the kids do all this cool building with it. And I think that is a fantastic idea. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm doing it. All right, let's see. I missed a couple questions here. I'm sorry. Uh, Kaylee's got projects like through January. You're about in the shape I'm in right now. Um, Let's see. Oh, thank you, Alicia. Guys, don't forget the... um. Thumbs up for me, please. And if live videos aren't your thing, that's okay. Just come join me on Tuesday for a quick tip. Um, let's see. Doing the self-watering with an old water bottle. That's really a good idea. Except for 
we have had so much water here in upstate New York that um, we haven't needed to barely water anything. Mary's going to go for a walk. Enjoy the walk. Oh, poor puppy dogs. They want to go shopping. Or they want to go for a walk. It, um, yes, it's straight line quilting. And this one, this one was pieced with a whole bunch of different fabrics and then straight line quilted with the soft and stable. Mine, I'm doing it with more soft, more fabrics that are in single pieces and then I quilted it by doing top stitch quilting, okay? And I did this quilting on my domestic machine, just so you, just so you know. <laughs> Dee Dee's got a bunch of quilting and crocheting projects. I know what that feels like. When I was young, Angela said, my, when I was young, my mom made a puppet theater out of PVC pipe and plastic and fabric. That's a great idea, Angela. Um, Sandra, I do not have a shop. I have a quilting studio. I do see people by appointment only. And I live east of Rochester is where I am. So I'm, ups, I'm upstate west New York. Or no, yeah, upstate western New York is where I am. So, um, let's see. It is, Alicia said it's going to be for my inside panels and tomato plants. Cool. Inside plants, I'm sorry, and tomato plants. Good idea, Alicia. She's doing that bottle um, feed, the upside down feed. Um... Alicia, my tomato plants, Susan Berry's tomato plants are like trifids, trifids, taking over the house. Um, yes, Sandra, you are correct. The Syracuse Oswego area. Um, we're actually halfway in between Syracuse and Rochester. We're right on the lake. So, yeah. Thank you, Lindsay. Yep. Um, yeah, our tomato plants are doing okay. We're getting tomatoes. It, it's just been a really rough year. My husband planted um, radishes. And Lindsay, what do you end up with? Four or five little radishes? It was, it was just terrible. So it was pretty disappointing. He was not very happy. But he's going to plant some more and hopefully we'll get more later. He hasn't been a very... Um, sunshiny summer it's been really um dreary and a lot of rain so oh sanders north of water watertown she used to be in pittsburgh my husband grew up in penfield so too much rain for the radishes for certain yeah so that's what's going on there I'm getting really, really excited about the beetle bag. So once I'm done with, or I'm sorry, the Maxwell bag. We already did the beetle bag. Once I'm done with this one, I will hopefully get the Christmas one all finished off. Sandra's on the river. Okay. Um, they bolted as soon as they started to leaf out. Oh, she's going to try a fa fall planting. Good. Let us know, Alicia, how it goes. Yes, um, there. One of my doctor's offices, Alicia, actually used that old water bottle to water the plants in the office. What they do is you take an old water bottle and you fill it with water, and you put it down into the dirt, and then you punch a hole in the bottom. And what will happen is it'll keep the um, it'll keep it all wet. It'll keep the moist water or the dirt really moist yep but you're right Alicia you gotta remember to fill the bottle and that's tough will you ever do some teaching video on paper foundation piecing I probably will I'm not quite certain when I will but yes it is something that has been asked for so I probably will at some point 
Susan Berry, yes, the pattern for Layer Cake Love is on my website. It is a free pattern, and that's one of the tutorials that are coming up in the middle of all of this. It's um, it's one that's scheduled for July, August, or September. So sometime in this quarter, those will come up. I'll take those clouds. <laughs> Tressie, it's been in the hot. Tressie, you're down in Texas, right? It's been really, really hot. Um, let's see, Nancy, Nancy Lois asks, Margaret, I watched your video show where you showed us the unfinished quilts and you said to ask if you'd gotten any of them done. I hope you have quilted any. Um, no, I have not. In fact, that was one of the bins that I had to put away when I got home. Lindsay is learning how to run the long arm. So, as you can all imagine, it takes quite a while to learn. She has been already working with me on it for probably, I would say, what, Lindsay, the last three or four months. She quilted her first quilt all by herself. I'll show it to you. She put a picture of it on her website, on the website, on the Facebook group. This is the quilt. It's her layer cake love. Wait till you see the back of it. It's just beautiful. She did a wonderful job. Wonderful, wonderful. So Lindsay is learning how to run the long arm. And what will happen is she will probably spend almost a full year only doing family quilts. So she will work on, um, like this one was Layer Cake Love. It's her quilt. She quilted it. Um, anything that's for me personally, like um, the Quilting Bees quilt, she quilt, she's quilting that one for me. Um, she's got some that were in that bucket that, were my, that are my mom's and my sister's, and she'll be quilting those also. So um, once she's got, you know, probably almost a good year underneath her belt of learning um, with me, then we will start working on teaching her um, slowly on customers' quilts. But I won't, it'll be a while before she starts doing those. But I really need her to start helping me. Um, if she can get some time learning, it will be a huge help to me because I, um, I love the quilting. It's something that I truly love to do. And I love doing this and I'm not willing to give up either one. So what I've decided to do is um, we're bringing Lindsay in and starting to teach her how to do it. And slowly we will get her um, up and running and she can run the hours that I'm not running. So that makes it huge difference. Um, Sandra, my website is... Um, Miss Markers Quilts, M I S S M A R K E R S Q U I L T S. So, um, that's another announcement that I have to had to tell you is we did purchase. I can't remember when I did it. Lindsay was with me. We purchased the um, we purchased the rights to Margaret Lewin Quilting. So I now have a website, but it's not up yet. I have the rights to it so no one else can get it. So yeah. So that's what's what's going on there. Lindsay will buy a second long arm when you have some place to put it. Because I'm not gonna make two of them fit in here, my dear love. It's way be way too tight. Oh, I'll lose my sewing room. No, thank you. But yes, I am extremely proud of Lindsay and how well she's done. It has been it has really been fantastic. She's really great with computers, so she's picked up on a lot of it really quickly. And because um, she's watched me for so long operate it, I think that's also helped her to pick up on it quickly. So I'm very happy about that. Um, I Kaylee, I think what I'm going to do is set up a redirect. I'm not 100% certain 
that that's what I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to set up a redirect. So if people go looking for Margaret Lewin quilting, it just um, redirects them right over to Miss Marker's quilts. So I, I think that's what I'm going to do, but I have to talk to my current website people and make sure that they can um, accommodate that. I know Lindsay. Lindsay wants me to build a retreat center. And quite honestly, I would also love to build one. Um, there is a um, spot where we could do it. The front portion of the 60 acres that we bought across the street, I absolutely, there is plenty of land there where I could build a retreat center. So um, believe me, it has been um, definitely on my mind. It is something that I've thought about, but I'm just not quite ready to um, make that investment. I know what it cost us to put this building up, um, and I just, I just don't think I'm ready for that. Does anyone here use a sit-down long arm machine. I, Lori, I never have, so I can't answer that. Has anybody else ever used a sit-down long arm machine? The redirect, not the, oh, okay, yeah. The, um, the redirect should be fairly simple, and I actually think think that um, the compu my computer website people can set that up for me. I'm not sure. I just, I just, they're out in um, Utah, so consequently their time it zone is so different from mine that I don't always, it's, I'm a morning person, so I tend to see that stuff in the morning. So um, I have to remember to do it, and I always forget. So, uh, let's see. Welcome, crusty old man beard. It's okay that you're late to the party. You're here. That's what matters. So, there's that. I'm trying to think what else has been going on lately. Does anybody else have questions? Because I got to tell you, I may run out of things to talk about. And that's not normal for me. Yeah. Diane has a Bernina Q20, and she really likes it. And, okay, someone's thinking about getting a Sweet 16 um, sit-down machine. Now, those I've never seen. I am one of those ones that 100% believes that if you're going to buy a long arm, one of the best things to do is go to those AQS shows and try out all different ones. That's the big thing to do. Welcome, Carol. It's Carol's first time here, ladies. Make sure you say hi to her. Angela says that they are not too expensive. They're under five thousand. I'm not sure. Oh, let's see which one, Lori. They are not that bad. I wonder who, which one that is. Which, um, Angela, which one isn't too bad? Oh, okay. That sounds better. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to have somebody new. Carol, if you haven't joined in on our Facebook group, or if there's anybody on here that has not joined in on our Facebook group, please make certain that you do. Um, last week I was gone for a couple of days and I left my daughter in charge of the studio and she ended up giving, getting into my giveaway drawer and giving away a whole bunch of stuff. And we tend to be able to share more of what we're doing over there. So please, if you're not part of it, go over and join our Facebook group. It's Margaret Lewin Quilting and either Lindsay or I will approve you into the group. It is a closed group and it is private, 
Therefore, we can freely share things without worrying about other people seeing them. Um, Becky, I do have a computerized Gamel Statler, and I can put it on automatic, and it will stitch, but it will stitch a bad stitch just as easily as it will stitch a good stitch. So um, Lindsay has learned that you do have to pay attention to it. You can't just um, program it and walk away. Yeah. Um, let's see. Angela, whatever happened with changing the, the day and the time of the live stream, there were so many people who still wanted it on um, Sunday afternoons that it just didn't work. And then the other thing that happened was um, I got into uh, baseball se season with the grandkids. I'm now into soccer with the grandkids. And there just was never a weeknight that worked either. So uh, right now we're going to actually stick right here to Sundays only because that seems to be, um, that always seems to be what happens. It just seems to work the best. Uh, I'm actually a part, but under my, Carol says she's part, but she's under her sister, Carla's name. You're not the only one in the world that doesn't have Facebook. There are other people. Thank you, Lori. It really is an awesome group. There's, it just is a very, very supportive group, and I am thrilled with it. Oh, um, Steph asked about the dimensions of my cutting table. It is, oh, I think it's 48 inches long, and I would say it's probably, I'm looking at it to figure it out. Oh, it's probably 48 inches wide, too. Guys, just so that you know, and I understand some people don't want to be part of Facebook, but just so that you know, you can become a part of Facebook and be completely and totally private so that the only things that you see when you log in are the groups that you want to belong to. So just so that you know. Um, hi, Laura Jo from Florida. Hello. Oh, I'm so glad Linda's first time here watching too, and she loves it. Thank you, Linda. I'm so glad you joined us. Nancy thinks that the thumbs downs are just a fluke. I don't know what they are. I'm not sure. Wait a minute. Why are we doing poor Bob? Oh, because of Sundays, yeah. But um, this morning he said, I told him I was live this afternoon and reminded him, and he said it was okay because he was going to go out um, on the camp, on the land, and um, mess around out there. There was a tree down that he wanted to cut up and a few other things, so he was going to go over there and, and watch. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's Sundays are tough because people do have church, and it, that is tough. But I think Mark should remote the thumbs down, remove the. I wonder. I don't think you can remove the thumbs downs once they're there. I don't think you can. Yes, Jacqueline Cropper, I understand. I saw there's a, Jackie recently did a quilt. It's a, a jelly roll quilt, and she has sent that off for her sister to quilt. So another one with, um, another one with, that Lindsay can work on and practice on, so. Where you flashed us. Did I flash you? <laughs> My vote, thumbs down, means awesome to some people. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Borders for quilts. How do you decide how big to make them? I, a lot of times, will use the dimensions of the insides of my quilt to make, to make the decision. 
Then there's other times that what I will do is just lay it down on it, put it up on my design wall, and see um, how it looks and what how I like it. So, Jack, hey guys, um, that Jacqueline Cropper, that's my daughter who's on there. It's actually Lindsay's twin. And so if you guys get a chance, say hi to her. Please. That's my Alaska family. Um, they are not going to be living near me, but they are going to be a whole lot closer than where they've been. They are going to be in Kentucky and I'm in New York. So, hi Judy. I usually start this right about 2 o'clock, Judy, so that you know. So consequently, um, they will be at least close enough that I can get to them in a little bit, like a day or so. So I'll be able to see my grandkids so much more, and I can't wait. I mean, yep, not much longer. We're going to be really excited when she gets back into downstate New York. Or down, they call it the lower 48 up there. Uh, Laura Jo needs encouragement. She's wanting to machine start machine quilting, but unsure of herself. Don't be unsure of yourself. Start with straight lines if you just want to learn how to do that. Straight lines are really, really popular now. Just relax your shoulders, sit down at your machine, and just start going. Um, there's a couple of really, really good people that teach um, machine quilting on YouTube. One of them is Leah Day. She is fantastic. I've met her. She's very, very um, easy to follow and does a fantastic job. Oh, Jackie, I'm glad you're packing. Fantastic. Time zone, the first time zone is a huge start. It has been really tough. Jackie has lived in a different time zone for many years now. So consequently, it'll be, it will be really, really nice. Um, I'm going to let Jackie answer the question about where she's being, where she's going only because if I say it, it will show up on later videos. If she just types it in there, it won't be showing. So I'm going to let her do it. Yes, Le Leah Day's directions are fantastic. She does a good job. Yeah, Lori, practice on your singer. That's a good thing to do. Yeah. J um. Yeah, that's not okay. I was th trying to remember exactly what um, bass John will be associated with. Okay, so you're only going to be an hour behind us. That's nothing. We can handle that, dear. Angela Walters is another one that has really good tutorials. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So she'll be an hour behind us, and we're really getting excited about that. I, I'm very excited about that. I can't wait. We'll be able to, in fact, we already have... Um, a weekend planned. When is it, Jackie? In October that we're coming down for a weekend? Becky, go ahead with your question. Not a problem at all. So I think we're going down over a long weekend in um, in October. So that will be when I'll finally see the grandkids again, is in October. So... <clears throat> Yeah, so that's when, that's when we'll be there, is that then. Angel Waters just started, Walters just started a new, new series on how to quilt a quilt. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, Susan, this one, these kids are the only ones that are away from me. Tracy's children and Lindsay's children are very, very close. They're only within a few miles. Jacqueline's kids are the only ones that are far away from me. So, and I can't wait to get them closer. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. So I think that'll be great. It'll, it will be wonderful. 
Jackie still hasn't even seen the land yet, which, you know, breaks our heart, but we understand. Becky says, I have a very heavy sewing machine, so I can't take it to the bead. I'm asking, is it wise to buy the simple sewing machine that costs $100 or better to invest in a second-hand Bernina that costs $600? Um, I'm going to give you a couple of different options, okay? There's a thing called a Singer Featherweight. They are older machines. I don't know if they're from the 50s or the 60s, but they're a lot older machines, and they are great. Fantastic machines, okay? Now, there was a small, I think it's called a Burdette, a Singer, or I'm sorry, a Bernina Burdette that is really being so shown as a traveling machine, one that you can take with you to um, classes and things like that, I would check out that. If you go for a used Bernina, I would be careful because they are all very heavy and, um, and consequently it's going to be difficult to lift them. So I would go out to your uh, Bernina machine dealer, whoever you get one from, and I would try them. The other thing I would look into is a featherweight. Donna Lee has one, has some, and she loves them. I have two featherweights. I have not used them. They, um, one of them I bought. The other one was a gift. So I will absolutely be taking that one with me the next time. Lindsay, the Bernina 215 is still a pretty heavy machine. Berninas are known for being heavy. Bye, Kaylee. You have a fantastic weekend, too. There's an idea. Susie Sherman said she got a Brother 200 for taking on the road. Yep. There are um, the featherweights, Lindsay, are underneath the stairs. Hey, guys, guess what? Lindsay didn't get into my stash underneath the stairs. She didn't have time. Um, yeah. So, consequently... Most brands, oh, the dog, Rena's outside the door barking. There's no one there to let her in. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go back. Most of the big machine manufacturers, guys, the dog's driving me nuts. I got to let her in. Hang on just a second. I can't handle it anymore. I'm still here. I just got to let the dog in. She's driving me crazy. Come on, Rena. Tucker, get back in here. Come on. Good boy. That's a good girl. Okay. Um, the big brand machines all saw that there was a real need for something small and lightweight to take back and forth to classes. So they all started making them. Um, they just call them different things, but there definitely are machines out there for you. Yep. Donna Lee has a very, ooh. Oh, okay. That's the other thing. Auctions. You can find them at auctions. You can find them at estate sales. You can find them all over the place. Yep. Oh, I thought... Oh, you did get into it, Lindsay? I didn't notice that you... Did I notice that you did? Is that why there's still wool sitting out? I couldn't figure that out. My simple singer has a nice straight stitch, but I can't sew any more complicated than four patches. That's true. That's the other thing. Sometimes the older machines just can't handle it. And it, in Lindsay's singer was a... Um, it was a new machine, but it was definitely, you know, like a hundred dollar machine. I bought it for her um, for Christmas one year, one year, just so that she would have something to mend. So that's why we got it. Yeah, it, it, those they they all have them, but like I said, I would double check with your. Um, I would double check with your local dealer and see what they have. 
and put the word out there at your local guild that you're looking for um, a lightweight machine to sew to take places with. Tell them that you're looking for a featherweight. You might find one. Yeah. Amazon's a good option too. I never thought of that. Yep. Dee Dee said that her $100 brother was very capable and easy to move around. So there's another option. Check out the brother machines. Yeah. Hello, Beverly. A Bernstein. I've never heard of a Bernstein. I had to look. There's so much I got overwhelmed and put it all back. Yeah, there is. Guys, I have bins. Not a bin. I have bins of quilts that everything is there the whole thing all of the material the pattern the whole thing is there to make the entire quilt and it's just sitting in there oh somebody shabby fabrics has a lovely pink featherweight yeah okay Oh, okay, a Burdette. That's, I, that's the one we looked at for buying my mom, but we ended up buying her something out, else. I can't remember which one. I think it was a Janome or something. How is my holiday embroidery coming along? Slowly, but I am working at it. Very slowly. I have been having... Um, <laughs> I've been working on binding for a lot of quilts lately. That's that's what I've been doing is I I have quilt will travel in vehicle and stitch. That's what I did on the in the vehicle on the way to and from Old Forge was I worked on bindings. Heart Dee Dee, I still can't find that piece. Dee Dee asked if I finished the heart shape needle case. Hang on, I'll show it to you. It's right here. Look. Here's the here's the pattern. Here's the pattern. And here's the pieces. I'm missing one piece. Yeah. And I cannot find it. I have searched and searched. One of these days, I'm going to have to just spend the day tearing it apart. So that I can find it. Because it's all ready to go together, Dee Dee. It's really making me mad because it's an adorable project. We'd have a lot of fun doing it. It's actually no sewing. Oh, Nancy's doing the binding on her, on her sailboat quilt. Nancy has the cutest sailboat quilt. I am in love with it. And it is just so sweet. I hope she'll take pictures and show us when she's all done. So eBay. Oh man, I know. Dee Dee, that really has upset me because the what somehow that one single piece has gone from my sewing table to something else. And we all know it could be folded inside of a project. So I think I need an afternoon nap too, guys. <laughs> I'm not kidding. My head is killing me. I'm just tired. Yeah. So I probably, well, I don't know that I will. I want to finish my Maxwell bag. So I guess I'm not going to. I think that it depends upon what, yeah, I don't think I'm going to. I'd like to, but I won't. I really would love to lay my head down for a few hours, but it's not going to happen. I'll catch up on my sleep tonight. That'll be good. So, oh. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Oh, Laura Jo is making quilts for the mission of Indian reservations, so I need to be able to do it quickly. Quick quilts, the quickest one that I've got out there, to without a shadow of a doubt, is layer cake cloth. It takes about three hours to make it. Yeah. Lindsay's holding the piece hostage for a Bernina. No kidding. I really think she is. I guess we'll have to, um, oh, okay. I guess, um, I'm going to have to do something about that here pretty soon. 
she says Lindsay's going to come back with Lion and finish the bee wall hanging. So she's working on the quilting bee wall hanging for me. <laughs> she probably is holding it hostage. I don't doubt it for one minute. I'm kind of surprised. I thought that that at least one or two of those bins with the complete quilts would have been out. I really thought that they would have been. But that's okay. You know, less I have to worry about. Mm. That was funny, Susan. I agree. <laughs> okay, guys. That's going to about wrap it up for today. Don't forget... Um, if you want the beetle bag, or I'm sorry, the Maxwell bag fabric or the Maxwell bag kit, they're going to be all shipped on the 1st of August, which is a week from Tuesday. So make sure you get your orders in so that I can be certain that I have enough for everybody, okay? Yeah, Sunlin, I just saw your email about the cornerstones and how to be get together to put them together um I can do it as a quick tip I think let me see what I can do but I will respond to your email okay oh uh, thank you Laura Jo night night guys get a good night's sleep Susan Susan okay Bye, Becky. Becky, if you're not in the United States, you're going to have a problem. I have to do that one separately, okay? Bye, Trussie. Cornerstones. Can you show that? Yes, I can show that on the Pat Sloan quilt. Yes, I can. That would be a great idea. Thank you, Linz. Didi, you have a great afternoon, too. We'll catch you next week. All right? Have a great week, everybody. Bye.